Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show y'all step by step how to make a nine panel sublimination square pillow. But before we get started, can you please subscribe to my channel? I promise you'll love it here. Okay, so let's get started. Of course you wanna measure the squares on the pillow to make sure that you print the picture at the right size. Um, this one is said it's a four by four, so I screenshot it to make sure I remember. And then now we're gonna go to the Cricut app and we're gonna open that up. And as you can see, I already have the pictures uploaded and I already have them sized. I have my pictures, if you can see at the bottom down there, I had them as a five by five because I was scared that a four by four wasn't gonna fit. It was gonna be too small. So now I'm gonna print them and on to the next step. The items that you're going to need are your nine panel sublamination pillowcase, of course, and you're also going to want to have your pictures ready and heat transfer tape. And also you're going to want to have some scissors. I got my scissors from Dollar Tree. Oh, I love me some Dollar Tree. Also, I got my non-stick parchment paper from Dollar Tree as well. And those are basically the five items you need for this project. And now we're going to cut out our pictures. Before you cut out your pictures and place them onto your pillowcase, you wanna make sure that you on your pillowcase because your pillowcase is going to be wrinkled and you do not want wrinkles on your pillowcase. That is very bad. And I already aren't mines. And now I'm going to cut my pictures and this is just very simple and easy. You just cut on the white lines. So as you can see, I'm just cutting away. Now that we are done cutting out our pictures, now we want to rearrange our photos onto the pillowcase where we want them to be at. And then after we rearrange our photos, we're going to tape our pictures to the pillowcase. And I'm actually going to speed this part up because I really feel like it's really self-explanatory. You just put your pictures where you want them to be and then you flip them over and you put a little bit of tape on there to tape them down so they don't move as you're pressing your heat press onto the pillow. And now here is the fun part. We can finally press our pillow. Um, when you press your pillow, you wanna do it in sections. So I'm going to press the top half first and then I'm going to press the bottom half and I'm going to like scoop my pillow around and press the sides and press the other sides because my heat press unfortunately is not big enough to cover the whole pillow. So I have to press in sections to get all the ink to transfer to the pillow and I'm pressing mine for 400 degrees for 60 seconds and as you can see I'm actually pointing to it right now you can see some of the pillow hanging off on the sides that part did not get covered by the heat press and you want to press those white parts that you see is hanging off of the sides of the pillows. And that's it y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If y'all haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.